You're listening to Get Abstract, the world's biggest collection of summaries. This is a summary of Lift Your Impact, a book by Richard Newman. Award-winning writer and communications expert Richard Newman offers step-by-step guidance to improve your mindset, influence, and future. Informed by global training sessions with over 120,000 people, his Lift method helps you articulate the future you want and shows you how to get there. He offers easy-to-implement advice on how to expand your influence using effective messaging and delivery techniques and provides practical tips to relieve stress and boost performance during high-stakes moments. If you put in the work, Newman promises you'll likely make tangible, rewarding progress toward your goals. Here's the first takeaway. Clarify and reinforce your core values. Core values, such as freedom, security, or compassion, shape your personal identity and guide you toward meaningful goals. Reflect on them to provide a powerful source of internal validation and intrinsic motivation. They help you stay calm under pressure and push forward with your best work. To define your core values, start with what you want and work backward to discover why you want it. For example, if you want to earn more money, Is it because you want to support your family or travel the world? If the former, you may value security. If the latter, freedom. In either case, write down why that value matters to you and how it has shaped your life. Apply the same process to arrive at three core values. Then use code words to turbocharge their impact. Code words anchor your mind in your core values. Now for takeaway number two, create a compelling vision story. After clarifying your core values, craft a vision story that engages your survival, emotional, and logical mind. Start with what's happening now. What makes you happy or sad? What events led to where you are now? What do you hope for in the future? Next, transform those answers into a compelling story using this five-part structure. First, define your character. Write down a list of I am statements that describe how you see yourself. They can be positive, negative, or neutral, such as I am reliable, I am bored, or I am an accountant. Is that list leading to the life you want? If it isn't, what would? Describe that future identity with I am statements and repeat them to inspire yourself. Lastly, Prime your mind for positivity by writing down your core values and what makes you grateful. Second, understand your current challenges. Focus on your daily life and write down your current challenges. How do they affect you? Assume you do nothing to overcome those challenges. How would your life get worse? Write down what you need to do to avoid this. The third part is identify your North Star. Craft a clear vision derived from your core values that guide your daily decisions. This is your North Star. In the midst of chaos, difficulties, and uncertainty, your North Star helps keep you on the right path. Once you've identified it, write down your North Star. Use descriptive, passionate language to engage your emotional mind and stir up inspiration. Fourth, map out your journey. With your North Star fixed, Write down three areas you need to work on to reach it. Within each area, identify existing obstacles and solutions. Then provide proof, for example, data, anecdotes, and reasons, to convince your logical mind that the journey is doable. And finally, take your first step. Write down one small, specific, and actionable step you can take to move toward your North Star. When structured in this order, Your vision story engages your survival mind by tapping into current challenges, your emotional mind by inspiring a future vision, and your logical mind by providing proof that you can tackle the journey ahead. Okay, let's hear takeaway three. Embody multiple archetypes to expand your identity. Archetypes are universal patterns of behavior you can use to harness your potential. All archetypes exist in everyone, though some may feel unfamiliar to you, 
if they've laid dormant for some time. Explore and embrace all of them to tackle challenges and expand your impact. The LIFT method focuses on six archetypes. First, shield. This archetype defends people and principles. Second, showtime. This archetype provides inspiration, motivation, and momentum. Third, sprite. This archetype diffuses tensions, connects playfully, and builds friendships. Fourth, servant. This archetype supports and uplifts others. Fifth, sage. This archetype facilitates deep discussions. And sixth, sovereign. This archetype delegates tasks and leads decision-making. Identify and embody multiple archetypes to overcome challenges and create more meaning. To start using this method, determine the archetype you embody most often and reflect on situations where it's helpful and limiting. Reflect on current challenges you can't quite overcome. Would adopting a different archetype improve your performance? If so, learn to personify that archetype in appropriate situations and adjust your environment and routines accordingly. Furthermore, each archetype is paired with a natural element to help you access it. For example, sage is linked with earth and showtime with fire. To get in touch with a sage archetype, for example, walk barefoot in the grass or sit quietly on the ground. To access the showtime archetype, sit in front of a fire, absorbing its warmth and light. Okay, time for another takeaway. Position yourself as a mentor inspiring a hero on their journey. When giving advice to influence others, take on the role of mentor, guiding a hero on their path to redemption. Use the five-step pro system to inspire others to action. First, problem. Engage the survival mind by focusing on problems, concerns, and worries mentees find important. In business, this often means MTV, money, resources, time, deadlines, and value, reputation. Don't rush into solutions. Instead, dig into driving concerns. Second, promise. Unlock the emotional mind by using what-if statements to describe the promise of a better future. Third, process. Harness the logical mind by explaining how they'll overcome current challenges to reach that better future. Break the process down into stages to avoid overwhelm. The fourth step is proof. Use the logical mind again by providing evidence, case studies, testimonials, anecdotes to show the process will work. And finally, prompt. Deliver a small sample and manageable prompt to get people to take one step forward. If you encounter resistance to your advice, use the pro system as a two-way conversation to gain deeper understanding of those you are seeking to influence. Okay, let's move on to the fifth takeaway. Lift others by asking questions and listening deeply. To build strong relationships with stakeholders, state your intentions clearly, ask questions, and practice deep listening. First, let them know why you're there and what you care about. Then, learn about the problems they're facing by asking questions about facts, feelings, and values. Apply the same method to understand the promise that's guiding them toward their North Star. With the problem and promise clarified, you can discuss the process, proof, and prompt knowing the stakeholders care about the end result. Deep listening comes in two varieties, active and empathetic. Active listening builds rapport. It's when you adjust your word choice and body language to match the other person. Empathic listening is when you can see a situation through someone else's eyes and feel what it's like to be them. If you know you're going into a contentious situation, it's important to lift yourself beforehand. Breathe deeply and focus on how you want your message to make the stakeholders feel. Focus on the future they desire and suggest a win-win path forward. Also, remember that most objections can be overcome. Here's the next takeaway. Develop a clear and compelling message by invoking images, sparking curiosity, and crafting a strong headline. 
make intricate and sophisticated messaging irresistible by following the pitch formula. First, personal. When crafting a message, make it personally relevant to the audience. People care far more about messages that directly affect them. Second, images. People remember images remarkably well. In fact, a few days after being shown 2,500 images, people recalled them with 90% accuracy. A year later, their accuracy was still 63%. If you are giving a presentation, use images that explain the message. If you are in a conversation, use descriptive language to paint a picture. Third, tangible. Make your message more tangible by using language that elicits an image, such as boots on the ground, to describe military action. Fourth, curiosity. Run engaging meetings that spark curiosity. For example, you can pose a question, leave out a key piece of information, and then ask for answers. And fifth, headline. Craft a strong headline that sums up your message and guides your vision. When developing the iPhone, Steve Jobs used the headline, Apple reinvents the phone, to guide his team's actions. All right, let's now hear another takeaway. Align your words, tone, emotions, and body language. To ensure people listen to and act on your message, emphasize congruence, emotional intention, and body language. Congruence means aligning your words, tone, expressions, and gestures to create a clear message. Or as writers say, show, don't tell. If you say you're excited, look excited. Emotional intention is understanding what you want your audience to know, do, and feel. Body language is to effective speakers what proper technique is to pro athletes. Without it, you won't go far. Master your body language by standing tall with your feet shoulder width apart, sitting centered with your sternum lifted, and moving with a sense of purpose and your elbows away from your body. Furthermore, turn your palms up to signal warmth and openness and turn them down to signal closure or decisiveness. When giving a talk that shows progression over time, gesture or move to your right, the audience's left, when discussing the past and negative points, and gesture or move to your left, the audience's right, when discussing the future and positive elements. In virtual meetings, try to recreate the in-person experience as much as possible. Frame your shot at eye level, avoid backlighting, keep your hands visible, and use a lavalier microphone for clear sound. We've now reached the eighth takeaway. Prepare yourself to excel in high-stakes moments through positive self-talk, deep breathing, and cold exposure. High-stakes moments are stressful, and stressful events trigger fight, flight, or freeze responses. When you need to perform at your peak, those automatic reactions can hold you back. However, positive, realistic self-talk, breathing exercises, and cold exposure can help you regain control and reduce stress. Self-talk can settle your nerves, so long as it's positive and evidence-based. For example, athletes usually say they're excited rather than nervous before a competition. Both emotions involve sweaty palms, a racing heart, and shallow breathing, but excitement frames it in a positive light, whereas nervousness simply interferes. If you have a similar response before a pivotal moment, Reframe it in a positive light and repeat reassuring statements such as, I've done this before and I can do it again. Breathing exercises such as diaphragmatic breathing, 5552 rhythmic breathing, and the physiological sigh can help reestablish calm. First, diaphragmatic breathing. Place one hand on your stomach. Exhale fully while saying, shh. Pause for two seconds and then breathe naturally for a few cycles. Second, 5-5-5-2 five, 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 rhythmic breathing. Exhale fully to release dead air from your lungs and hold for two seconds. Then, inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five, hold for two, and repeat. And third, physiological sigh. Take a full breath in through your nose, then breathe in a bit more, and exhale with a sigh through your mouth. 
Repeat two to three times for greater benefits. Cold exposure. Ideally, 11 minutes a week of ice baths up to your neck can help you manage adrenaline and boost dopamine. You can split this into multiple sessions of around three minutes each throughout the week. Here's the ninth and final takeaway. Build momentum toward your goals through commitment, action, and repetition. To achieve long-term goals, consistent action is necessary, and the CAR method can help. CAR stands for Commitment, Action, and Repetition. Now that you have a vision for your future life that you've written down, make a commitment to reach a specific milestone on your journey and share it with others to hold yourself accountable. Next, take immediate action through one small step and establish repetition by creating routines and rituals. Routines should be non-negotiable and easy to do and can be stacked on top of existing habits. For example, if you already drink coffee in the morning, reflect on your core values while it brews. Rituals pair sensory anchors with feelings of empowerment, such as listening to a favorite song, and should be portable, short, and leave you feeling uplifted. Finally, regularly visualize your ideal future and reflect on your vision story to maintain focus and help you reach your goals. That was the summary of Lift Your Impact, a book by Richard Newman. Here's the nine takeaways again. Takeaway one, clarify and reinforce your core values. Takeaway two, create a compelling vision story. Takeaway three, embody multiple archetypes to expand your identity. Takeaway four, position yourself as a mentor, inspiring a hero on their journey. The fifth takeaway, lift others by asking questions and listening deeply. Takeaway six, develop a clear and compelling message by invoking images, sparking curiosity, and crafting a strong headline. Takeaway seven, align your words, tone, emotions, and body language. Takeaway eight, Prepare yourself to excel in high-stakes moments through positive self-talk, deep breathing, and cold exposure. And finally, takeaway nine, build momentum toward your goals through commitment, action, and repetition. You've been listening to a summary by Get Abstract. For more summaries on this and related topics, visit our app and website.